She married a baboon sister, bought a ring, and then he kissed her. Kissed her so hard, he raised a blister. She let out a yell. But what do you think they had for a fiddle? An old banjo with a hole in the middle. Tambourine and a worn-out fiddle. And that's the tale I tell. Howdy, brothers. Saw you fine. Smelled your meat. I thought I might drop by and sample your hospitality. No need reaching for them more axes, brother. Man would be a fool to walk into a Cherokee camp with anything on his mind except an empty belly. Especially if he came bringing a little something in the way of a peace offering. Now, I toted this all the way from Niagara. This is genuine distilled lightning for Guaranteed to tingle your toes. And put a torch under midnight. Here you go. <laughs> Hey, Mayday. Hey, hey. That's good or that's good. Think you like? That's more like it, brother. No, there is nothing. It kills a man's appetite faster than a sharp war axe. Or a, or a suspicious mind. Well, I've been following the trap line since sunup. Never dreamed it'd end in a pot of gold. We find fine belts you boys have here. All prime. You drink. Hmm. First things first, brother. As soon as I fill this grave beneath my belt, then all of us are going to have a real back scratching spot. My word on it. Send your food for the man. Get the beer. Just pour up, brothers, and stand aside. 
I'm a Talapusa traveling man. Got sawdust in my gullet and a volcano where my belt buckle used to be. Well, I don't know, friend. This is a private patch. Don't take kindly to strangers. Why, brother, the day I'm a stranger to corn, public or private, is the day they got me nailed in tight, six foot under, and ten days of moldering to just poor, brother, poor. Well, <laughs> it's your liver. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice and smooth. Fair size kick. Good body. Why, I couldn't have brewed up a better storm myself. Now, now that's what we've been needing around here. Somebody who appreciates the finer things. Now, uh, let me pour you another one with my compliments, Mr. Uh... Carey. No, Will Carey. Well, Mr. Sticks to me like a bird sticks to an eel bat. When you had done pouring, brother, I'd appreciate it if you'd credit me with these. No good. Just traveling money, hard and light. You get there faster that way. I'll have another, Natus. I don't see the color of your money. Fine pounds, Carrie. You trapping hereabouts? I managed to run a line wherever I happened to hang my hat. Sandusky, Fort Pitt, the Georgias, up around the Licks. You name it, I've been there. What brings you to King Tuck? Some of they say built this place, Daniel Boone. You got business with Daniel? Oh, no, not business, rightly. I just kind of like to shake his hand, you know. Maybe you buy him a mug of your good rum here. Well, that's real flattering of you, man walking all this lonesome distance just to shake my hand, buy me a drink. What? For you, I'm going to break a lifetime rule. Two drinks, one day. Pour it up, Nabbit. Well, sir, Mr. Boone. Why, you're every bit as friendly as people told me. Now, I gotta naturally find out if them other things they said were true. You know them things about you being able to whoop any man alive? Well, you know, them stories do go on. Don't mind the breakage. Just uh, go ahead and whoop him, Daniel. Here. This here is to pay... For Mr. Boone's drink. Thank you, sir. Sorry about this table, brother. I tried to aim you the other way. Well, do you think now maybe we can go find out? <laughs> All right, Pa. I'm ready. Little, it's just a haircut, not an operation. Well, I'll tell you it's a scalp tonight, Pa. A July, Pa. And for the life of me, I can't see why a little old haircut has to turn into such a wig. It ain't the haircut, Ma. It's them shears. Well, now, what's wrong with them? I only got one head. But like I said, scalp and I see a lot easier. I've got a better idea, Mama. We'll do like the Mohawks do, and then we won't need anything. Mohawks? Yes, sir. What they do is take every single hair, one at a time, and pull it out the roof. Ow. Now, let's see. Uh, where will I start? With them shears. On one condition. I'll leave your head right where it is. Be careful not get an ear. Cover the rear window. You youngins take cover. Tuck in your tails and run for your lives. I'm a stripy tail typhoon with the alleghenies in my teeth. A lightning fork in my hip pocket, an alligator in each hand, and I can lick any ten men alive with my back turned and my eyes closed. Sorry, Daniel. Say he's a friend of yours. Will? Will Carey. 
bigger in life and uglier in all creation, that then maybe for a long sack of skin it answered to the name of Daniel Boone. We'll carry you old block-hearted chicken stealing hound dog. You haven't changed a bit. Where you been all these years? Oh, boy, I've been east of yesterday and west of nowhere. Let me take a look at you. Just me with a tavern keeper's mob. You ain't filled out a little bit. Last time I seen you, you were just working up a nodding acquaintance with a shaving razor. Daniel, would you please tell us what's going on? Well, that'd be like asking me to explain away a ghost. And that's exactly what this old he bear is after all these years. Becky, meet Will Carey. First friend I ever had, and the only man who could put me down with one punch. Well, now, that I can believe. Lordy, 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 ma'am. I must have scared you halfway to perdition, caterwauling around here like a bottled poison chickasaw. Would you be Daniel's wife? Mm-hmm. I might be a stranger to you, Mr. Carey, but, well, Dan's talked about you so much, I feel like I've known you for years. Welcome to our home. Daniel, I always knew you had a touch of the beyond under your belt, but I never dreamed you could talk down a rainbow and tack your name to it. And that's purely what you are, Becky Boone. A springtime rainbow. Dan, you should invite your old friends by more often. Well, my daughter Jemima and my son Israel. Well, now I know I got to be seeing things because for a second there I could have swore that I saw these two little feather wings poking out behind your back. Tell me this thing that I've always wanted to know: How many angels can dance together on the point of a needle without bumping into each other? Next time I try out my wings, I'll ask. <laughs> Boy? Oh, son, what are they trying to do to you? Why, they're trying to trim that fine hair, ain't they? No, sir, we can't let them do that. How are you going to stay warm when the wintertime comes? That's what I tried to tell them. <laughs> oh, Daniel, it just don't seem possible. Seems like it could have been more than a week ago, our trail split, and here you are with everything in the world a man could wish for and more. We got a lot of catching up to do, Will. Yeah, round up everybody you can find. Tell them I just resurrected a ghost and I'm going to need some help with the celebration. I may even invite Cincinnati. It's all to do for a starter. The old time. Better yet, Daniel. The new time. I not put death, nor yet can you kill me. Death, you will die. One man wearing moccasins. He walked into their camp wearing the face of a friend. He took their furs, he took their lives, then he took their scalps. It's one thing to kill, but to butcher. Which way did he go, Hotekna? Which way did he go? Put your goal. This trail leads west. West. To Boonesboro. Lived an old bullfrog and not another soul. And all night long the mountain air rang out with froggy. When old bullfrog was 95 And about the loneliest frog alive A tumbleweed come in a world A carrying a sassy frog Billy Wallace, 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 Billy
nó không phải phong thấy lên sao Em cũng là nó bông và nó đừng 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 Thank you very much, you know, and I got that tomfoolery out of my system. Maybe we can get down to some real party time. And Mr. Fiddler, if you just start sawing, sir, it don't have to be pretty, just loud. Becky, I've always wanted to dance with a rainbow. I wonder if you mind. May I have the honor of this dance, ma'am? Party, Mingo. Don't just stand there. Well, when did you ever invite an Indian downwind of a white folks' party time? Since I learned how to spell friend, Will. Don't just stand there. Somebody's liable to mistake you for a door. There's plenty of hot coffee, lots of food. You might as well dig in. You can't stay, Daniel. What is it? Three Cherokee hunters have been killed. Perhaps I should say... Butchers. Whoever did it hit his sign well. But the trail still leads this way. You know better than that, Mingo. No one in Boonesboro would be crazy enough to fire on the Cherokee. They weren't shot, Daniel. They were nice. And then scouts. What that does, Daniel? Indians been lifting each other's hair since before we was born. No Indian did this. The trail ended near your fort. Didn't go on. Like I say, Mingo, no one here would be fool enough to risk a fight with your people. Perhaps a stranger. Are they? It appears to me you got a little bit to learn about the right kind of manner. Well, he's a friend of mine, Mingo, and I speak for him and the rest of us. No one here killed your hunters. Well, don't tell me. Tell Manewa. He's waiting. Don't let this ruin the party. Dan. Shouldn't take long. Take care of Will. Well, you planning on taking Root Slim? It just don't make sense. Peggy, all this fuss over a few nitpicking Indians. people did this. It was a white man. Our scouts have been out all day, Daniel. There is no sign to the north, to the east, or to the south. Only to the west and Boonesboro. If the white man did this, he must have bypassed Boonesboro and headed on to Salem. No, the trails to Salem are cut off. It's as I said, this can only end in Boonesboro. Find the hand of blood in your lodge, Boone. Find it and cut it off. And if there is no hand of blood, then I will find it for you, and I will cut it off. Think on this, Boom. Think on this and the peace between the Cherokee and your people. The one who killed my hunters will be punished, either by you or the Cherokee. Look, 
were only boys. And to the Cherokee, a boy is tomorrow's hope. Once that is dead, there can be no tomorrow. Whoever killed them took their furs. Find the furs and you'll find your hand of death. Hear the dark, can't you? Oh, Mr. Terry, I thought you were asleep. No, you live alone as long as I have. You never really get both eyes blue, Jack. You'll be alone. No need to worry about that. That's what he always says. I listen. But I guess I, I just don't hear him. I never saw anything like it. Pure spun copper, maybe a but it's bigger in life sunsets up above the Susquehanna. You know, all these years since you've seen Dan, what have you done with yourself? Isn't there there any place you can call home? It takes a lot of living between four walls to make it home, Becky Boo. And the itch I got in my feet never let me stay in one place long enough to call it Will Carry's own. No, a blanket roll under a windfall. That's all I ever wanted. Tell you the truth, that's really all I ever wanted. Only figured that with a woman, family, and all of that, a man had to give more than he got. Well, I'm glad Dan doesn't think that way. Oh, that Dan. Can't puzzle him out. We was always as much alike as two halves of a hickory nut, Dan and me. Now I see him here with you and all these folks looking up to him. Makes a man wonder. Wonder what he's done with his life. Freezing in the winter. Baking in the summer. Sleeping lonely on the ground. Mr. Carey. Like I said. Pure spun copper. his rifle up on his shoulder and just as calm as you please, he pulled the trigger. Right between the eyes, I'll bet. Yeah, not hardly. Seems Daniel's rifle hung fire. What happened? What happened? Why, old Will Carey just <laughs> put a rifle ball right into that critter's head just about ten seconds before he started climbing up your daddy's back. Wrong, Will. It was more like three seconds. Will saved your life, Bob? That he did. Did you ever save Will's life? No, not that I can remember. Well, I guess you'll just have to owe it back to him, Pa. Guess that's right, son. Oh, you're raising this one right, Donald. Being loyal to your friends, Israel, that's what counts. You got friends, you got everything, boy. Well, not quite. At least as long as you've got chores to do. Oh, Pa. Your ma's wait. Work, work, work. Seems like day never ends. Come here, Will. Will was just about to show us how to smell open, too. Oh, what's the trouble, Donald? We care to keep friends making noises again? They still think the man who killed those three hunters is around here. Just because it's a fight. Delighted. It's been too long since you and me had a good gut stomp in shooting fights. Man, we get rusty. He said some other things. Those three Cherokee had trap lines out. Must have laid in a sizable amount of pelts. 
Probably about like those you traded in to Cincinnati. Here's your hard money, Will. Cincinnati's told me to give it to you. I always say a man's got something on his mind. It don't make sense to tippy-toe around about it. Make your mind out. Me and the Cherokee have an understanding, Will. The buck steps over the line, they take care of it. And if a white man steps over the line? It's my responsibility. And if it was a white man that killed those three hunters, I'm bound to hang him. I gotta hand it to you, Daniel. Who would ever think the day had come you could make a red skin believe you'd keep a bargain? I would. An answer, Will. One word. Daniel, if I had lifted them buck scalps, do you think I'd be sitting around here growing hair? You would. The way you're put together, Will. I've never known you to run away from anything, including old Lucifer himself. There's something else about the way I'm put together. Something you never understood, my friend. Inside me. Daniel, way down deep inside me where no hand can get to. There's this jar full of little spiky-tailed horny toads just howling to get loose. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they slip over the side. And when that happens, there's nothing to be done about it. Not for me, not for you. Not even by that horn-tooting old Gabriel himself. I do crazy things, and it's not me that's doing them. It's these spiky-tailed little horny frogs. I can't stop them. I try to, but I, I can't help myself. That's her will. Oh, you do have a lot of the mule in you, don't you, friend? No, Daniel, it's not that I'm above raising the scalp or two, but this time, me and my little horned frogs were just as innocent as the fresh morning dew on the top leaf of Kentucky's tallest tree. Shame, though. Oh, it sure would have been interesting to find out. Find out what? Find out if you really had it in you to slip a rope around my neck. I did come down from the north through Cherokee country. I did bring in some furs. Maybe even the same kind them three dead bucks was trapping. But that's where it ends. I ain't raised my hand to no man, Cherokee or otherwise, for longer than I care to admit. Wouldn't want the world to get around that Will Carey is getting brittle in the bone. That satisfy you? Does it satisfy you? Facts remain the same. Three of my people are dead. The man who killed them came here. He's still here. You can't be sure, Mingo. Every trail has been cut off. Every twig, every leaf, every scratch has been asked to tell its story. The answer is plain for those who can accept it. You heard Will Mingo. He didn't do it. He said he didn't do it. You do an awful lot of running off at the mouth, brother. Bad habit. Could be fatal. It's done, Mingo. Whether you believe Will or not, you can't prove he's the one. Can you prove he's not the one? It comes to this. Unless this crime is punished, the Cherokee will come. And when they leave, it will have been punished. Because there'll be no one here left alive. The choice is yours. That ain't what you'd call a hat full of possibles, is it? It's that simple. Either we can risk a fight we can't win, or hang an innocent man. I got a better idea, Daniel. Come full dark, I'll just slip out the gates and they're going to... Too late for that, Will. 
You heard what Mingo said. They've got every trail blocked. Well, I'm going to make my own trail. Well, that don't solve anything, even if you do make it. You still owe the Cherokee a hanging. They're not going to forget that. There's one other way. The only one. Turn him over. The Cherokee? That's worse than hanging. They'll cook him alive. Well, hanging or cooking, it's still one man for all of us. Women and children, too. I say we've got no right not to consider it. All right. Consider it. Then we'll vote. I don't know. Seems to me you're the one to make that choice. I'm the only one who can make it, Will. Since now, let's pass out the beans. One black bean, one white bean to everyone but me and Will. <laughs> Pass a pitcher among you. Black bean, we turn him over. White bean, we fight. Whatever it is, walking the night through won't cure it. Well, I'm not looking for a cure, Becky. Send me some figuring to do. Catch is the figuring keeps getting tangled up with her remembering. Dad, about Will. What is it, Becky? I don't know. Not for sure. He is all you said he was. Full of life, charming. Always could charm the birds out of the trees. But Dan, there's something. I have a feeling that that if he ever really wanted anything, he'd just reach out and take it. And if anyone got in his way, anyone, he just wouldn't care. So far, there's nothing much to go on. Feelings, guesses. So I'm trying to grab a handful of smoke. Man's life shouldn't ought to hang on something like puny. There's more than one life hanging, isn't there? Find your truth, Dan. You're the only one that can. Sure. Come on. 
What do you remember best about the way it used to be, Will? What, you mean about you and me before we split? Uh, no, after. I remember all that other. How'd you stay alive this long a time? Oh, this staying alive, that's easy, Donald. For men like you and me, that's easy. Just keep on a singing and a grinning. <laughs> Almost had you, Will. You laughed. <laughs> One to laugh always loses, remember? Yeah, I remember we'd go on like this for an hour, making outlandish faces, telling stories, trying to make the other one laugh. Hey, Donald, you want to hear something funny? Can't do it, Will. You're always the first one to laugh. Not now. Now, you listen to this. This one is about your woman. About Becky. And last night, you gone and... Her and me alone in the cabin. I started talking. I was scared to live her out of her. All right. All right, how about this one? You know this skull varnish we're drinking? You know who's paying for it? Them three dead Cherokee towns. Their belts. Buying our liquor. No, ain't that laughable? <laughs> ah, I knew that would do it. Oh, you ought to see your face, Stanley. You ought to see it. <laughs> and try him all the time. What'd you have to go and do that for? Ain't nothing gets so riled up about. You we'll never could handle his corn. It's the only way of getting at the truth. <laughs> Down, down. Don't you know that's my way of joking? Telling the truth. It's the funniest joke in the world. Joke? You call putting the lives of every man, woman, and child in this settlement on the block a joke? <laughs> oh, that. Them spiky tail, little horny don't you remember? Dust under dust. A little pain, a little pleasure, a little up for the treasure. And then... Dust on the dust, then. We all gotta die sometime. Keep him here. If he tries to get out, kill him. off their paint, Manewa. There will be no war. The hand of blood. You have cut it off? I cannot do it. He's a friend of mine. To take the life of a friend is to take your own life. But there is no other way. It will be done in Salem. The law of the white man will see to it. I can promise you that. Go with him, Mingo. Watch this man breathe his last. When it is done, so is the war. I know what it is, Daniel. A brother with black shadows on his soul. I'm sorry. Cincinnati. Take it easy. He was grinning when he done it. <laughs> <laughs> 
He said to tell you. He said he'd just soon take his chances with a chair key. My fault. I clean forgot. Great trade knives. Dan, a man like that needs killing. Man can grin like that with a knife in his hand. Take care. Daniel, it's done. Let the Cherokee finish him. Yeah, that's right, Daniel. Don't put that that man on your conscience. He already is. Let him go, yes. Good start, Will. You should have kept going. Wouldn't have done any good, would it, Daryl? I figured it had to come to this, you and me, one last time. Why? Why did you knife Cincinnati, Will? You could have got clear without that. That's my way of making sure there'd just be one man on my backtrack. I knew you'd never let anybody else come after me after that. You had it that way already. What you almost did to all them families. They was ready to fight the whole Cherokee Nation for you. Who asked them? Who told them to come out here cluttering up a man's country with their soft Bible-reading ways? Do unto others before they do it to you. That's the only law out here, Daniel. If you forgot that, you're not going to last any longer than the rest of them. When did it happen, Will? When did you turn wolf? Were you like that all those years ago, only I was so blind I couldn't see it? Man, that's a live, don't he? Any way he can. And a hungry man don't find the bread hard. If you're living in a wolf's world, it don't pay you to turn into no rabbit. <laughs> it's like I told you, Daniel. I can't change what I was, what I am anymore, and you can change the fact that you're standing there right now. I guess that's just about what it boils down to, Will. We just didn't take different trails years ago. We took different worlds. We've got to sort them out, Will, one last time. One last time.
Tak, no. Prostě tak, jak ještě. Happy love. Ek. Tak. Já nesíte, že to není zajisté. It ain't fair to be looking for laughter. First man to laugh. Always loses. <laughs> Americans free. 